Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, as you can see, I'm not in a basement anymore. <laughs> we moved apartments, so I've been MIA for a little bit. And yeah, now I'm back into hopefully making a few videos coming soon. I Over the summer, my Jeep stood outside and yeah, so it was dirty as heck you can go look at the the reel on my instagram <laughs> where i showed where it looked like after summer and what it looked like after a wash um yeah and when i came back this jl sun visor thingy happened to me so when i take my sun visor out there it goes the sun visor clip just it broke and apparently that's a thing for the JLs and JTs. So as per usual, what I did was I jumped on the internet, saw a few of them, how, um, well, on I think it was on one of the Jeep Wrangler forums or it was on Ins, no, it wasn't on Instagram, maybe on, on YouTube. I saw a few of these little brackets that you can put on there. Saw some on AliExpress. Didn't want to order them as you guys know I like my 3d printing and I like my editing on it And then what I did was I went and I edited that I changed it a little bit to fit my needs or how I would like it to look and Yeah, this is what I got so this is my 3d printed um, Well, not light mount uh, Sun visor clip as you can see I had raised edges a little bit and a beveled edge at the top there uh, actually a bit of a have a bit of a squish there at the bottom that should not be like that but yeah so this is what i 3d printed and what i'm going to do now is i am going to put that in here and show you guys what i did so for this install super easy all you need is you need a t20 torx bit to remove the stock jeep uh screws and then I'm using a 35 millimeter long, thick, uh, I think it's four millimeter, possibly four millimeter uh, screws that I had to cut shorter. Let me add that in here so that you can see how I cut them shorter with a little Dremel bit. And then I am just going to screw them. It's a Phillips screw that you put in there and then they are good to go. Okay, so I have my... T20 Torx bit and I have my Phillips screwdriver. I have my two uh, sh uh, shortened uh, screws that I have and I have my 3D printed part. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the T20 bit from here. I'm going to put this in place and then um, hopefully it sits nicely in position. Let's see how it goes. these nice short little fat um, screws but there are two of them so I need to actually I think this would be the easiest way and just let it hang oh uh, okay, there goes one screw yeah so here you can see that the top part of the little plastic that goes on this side over there, the top little lip thingy broke off. It's still stuck to the wire and that's what's making this fall down. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my two screws in those holes and then it should stay in place. Okay, let's get to putting this together, back together again. Whoopsie. Ah, let me enter the bolts into the pieces first because they are a little bit tight. The holes are a little bit tight, so. But I'm hoping that will just keep it together a little bit easier. Oops. There we go. Screw is entered. You can put this through quite some, quite a, a little while well, through so that it is just easier shorter distance to actually screw in when you're holding everything together with only one hand 
and screwing it from the other. Now I put these through too far. Now I can't get them in properly. So just have to unscrew them a little bit. Okay, so once the one actually goes in, it's a lot easier to screw in the other one. Just have to get it up into its hole. Ah, that one didn't go in the first time, so... Okay, tightening the screws. Up as much. And there we go. No more wobbly sunshade. There we go. Now, my design has one little bit of a flaw to it. So my screws are sticking out a teeny tiny little bit and it's actually just touching this little black thing here. So as you can see there, there is a little line that is forming so I could sink, countersink those screws in a little bit deeper and then that should be the end of it. Should look good and it should be in place. So yeah, there we have it. I have my new, my sunshade is working again and I can actually use it. So yeah, there it is. I don't know if you can see that. The light's a bit weird. There we go. That is the 3D printed part. And it did not cost me that much. Not half as much as it would have to order it. So yeah guys, that was my video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more videos, subscribe so that you don't miss when I actually do post a video. Um, and yeah, if you want to check out some of my other DIY 3D printing videos that I do have on my channel, please feel free to go check them out. And if you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments down below. Have you, have you run into this issue? How did you solve it? You can tell me that in the comments as well. As you can see, I'm starting to sweat because it is hot out here. Really missing my basement. Wish I had a garage. But yeah, so if you liked it, leave a like, subscribe, see more, or go check out the other videos on my channel. If you have any questions, let me know. Cheers, guys. See you in the next one.